more than losing human beings, I find losing these children. I'm sorry. It's terrible. I hail from Chennai and I'm a Tamil Brahmin by birth. Born to genuinely very simple and hardworking Tamil Brahmin parents. My father used to be called as the Ralph Nadar of Chennai. His name was Mr. M.K. Srinivas. He was one person who had actually taught the actual lesson of life that giving back to the society is what you live for. Wearing the khaki was my childhood ambition and having a six-month-old child did not deter me from chasing my dream of joining the paramilitary forces. In 1987, I joined the CRPF as the first married woman in the officer cadre and rose through the ranks to become the first Mahila Commandant of Asia's 1st Mahila Battalion. I was the only officer from the entire South India to get selected in the CRPF. My service also included a nine-year stint with the SPG, the Prime Minister's security, which gave me the honour of serving seven Indian Prime Ministers. I served the nation for 21 years with utter commitment, dedication and loyalty. Life was crazy in giving me lot of laurels, but crazier in bereaving me of my pillar of strength, my husband in 2004. My husband's death left a deep void and emptiness in life. However, it also triggered a deep transformation within to seek meaning and purpose. Life had given me a lot of glory and many laurels. But I realized that having my name in the papers and many medals was not the actual objective of life. I was feeling that I had to do something which is indelible to the nature, indelible so that that name lives permanent. It was my dogs who stood beside me during my emotional turmoil and since I was deeply connected to dogs, I decided to do something for them. Sheba, my first dog, came into my life in 1996 and since then there has been no looking back. In the last 20 years, we have sheltered and rehabilitated over 400 dogs and even today our home in Greater Noida houses over 100 stray dogs. I pursue my passion for dogs and live with them. Relatives and some friends have abandoned me but I am not deterred. My neighbors won't love me, I know. <laughs> they have been they have put to put me to shame a number of times. The police have been called a dozen of times. The PCR vans is always available to visit my house because I know they find it a kind of nuisance. For anyone it could be a kind of a nuisance because living with so many dogs at home is not an easy thing. But sub long marriages because I don't even this maturity has come in me because I don't even expect my children to be like me. Of my hundred children, most are abandoned and suffering and many are blind, handicapped and old. And since there is no good hospital in Greater Noida, it's a terrible time when our dogs fall sick. More than losing human beings, I find losing these children. I'm sorry. terrible because they don't not only give you or leave you in silence or a big gap in your life <coughs> it's a terrible thing to happen I know many people have given up bringing up dogs because of this only because they cannot bear that loss but same time I don't want to be selfish that way because I always feel this is a mission given by God to me and I have to do it From 23, they became 50, then 60, 
and today I have a total of 107 but the numbers are growing. Today they may be 107 but soon they can be 300 or even more. Till now I have come alone on this journey but I really want this passionate service to continue even after me. I have sold my house and pledged my ancestral property to build a big shelter for my children in Greater Noida. I want to build a hospital and a crematorium for which I need support. With great passion and dedication, we have laid the path to carry forward this noble cause through Foster's Foundation. I hope people will now come forward and support me in my cause.